The GH5 offers a terrific new accessory called the XLR1. This adds channel 1 and channel 2 audio to the GH5 over XLR audio connectors and it does it through the hot shoe. So before we put this on you want to make sure the camera is turned off just for safety's sake. It slides right into our hot shoe like so. Lock it down, turn it on. Now we have a little green light on the XLR audio adapter. Let's go in the menu and see what options we have. So in your second tab, which is the movie tab, you'll have an option that says XLR mic adapter settings. Bottom settings off, next setting is 48 kilohertz 16-bit audio, next one is 48 kilohertz 24-bit audio, and the top option is 96 kilohertz 24-bit audio. It's very important to note that you only get all three options in the .mov file wrapper. Otherwise, you're only going to get 16-bit 48 kilohertz audio. Um, now that we have that set, why don't we walk through some of the options on the XLR1. Obviously, here's channel 1, here's channel 2. We're going to put a microphone connection into channel 1 right here, and it's clicked in. Now we're going to turn this around. So the microphone that we're using is a mic that can be powered with something called phantom power or 48 volt power. So what we would do with this microphone, so you flip this door open, and we would set this from line down to 48 volt. If you have a microphone that's powered on its own, you'd set it to mic. If you're hooking into an external mixer, you'd go to line. Here we have options for either boosting or cutting level. We have options to cut background noise from low hum sounds, like, a, like if you have an air conditioner running in the room. So you can set those cut points to either 16 hertz or 160 hertz. We also have our gain setting here. Now this is just for channel one, because that's the channel we're using right now. Over here we have input one. This means we're only using input one and it's gonna populate input one into the left channel and right channel of the audio signal. If we're using both channels, we'd switch down and that would give us channel one to like your left channel and channel two to your right. Over on the right side, we have our continuous gain. If you'd like to have that on, you just switch that to on. And then all those features are mirrored on the other side for channel two. So again, your line versus phantom power options, your cut filter and gain controls are right here. As you can see, the XLR1 gives you just about every option you could ever need for audio recording. Panasonic.